You're watching Cartel TV and I'm Jenny. Help us get to 100,000 subscribers this year. So today I've got the 2023 Toyota Corolla Cross and it's all new to Australian showrooms. And it's a welcome variation. With options like two wheel or all wheel drive, petrol or hybrid powertrains and three trim levels and have a starting MSRP of 33,000 for the two wheel drive GX petrol. Toyota are bringing this car to the Oz market later than it was introduced to other markets. The Corolla Cross fits right between the smaller Yaris Cross and the family favorite RAV4. So technically it sits in the same category as CHR, but thankfully is a much more complete offering. It definitely looks a lot better than the CHR and resembles just a slightly condensed RAV4. There's slimline LED lights up front with an asserting front grille. Side on, it looks almost like a wagon. I have the higher trim Atmos with 18 inch alloys. Lower trims start at 17 inches. Now I will point out the size of these side mirrors. They are quite large kind of reminiscent of a certain monarch's ears. But anyway, on the plus side, there's great visibility for, as a driver. At the back again, narrow LEDs and there's a tapered fender to help with the sporty look. Built on the same platform as the Corolla hatch and sedan, the Corolla Cross boasts a higher ride height, flexible interior, and up to 436 litres of boot space. Now there are two available engines. Petrol versions have a two litre inline four cylinder engine with 126 kilowatts of power, 202 newton meters of torque. Fuel consumption is listed at six litres per 100 kilometres and zero to 100 is a snailish 9.2 seconds. Now the better choice hybrid powertrains employ a two litre Atkinson cycle petrol engine paired with an electric motor for 146 kilowatts of power and 190 newton meters of torque. Now the hybrid, as you'd hope, gives a much more impressive fuel consumption. As low as 4.3 litres per 100 kilometres and also better performance, the 0 to 100 time of as low as 7.5 seconds. There's a choice of two-wheel drive in all trim engine combos and the all-wheel drive is only available to the top two hybrid trims. So the Corolla Cross offers a smooth and comfortable driving experience. There's no sporty feel to the drive at all. So this petrol-only version feels relatively sluggish and it actually sounds quite under strain when you put your foot down. Can you hear that? This is in power mode. The hybrid performs a little better. So the hybrid all wheel drive variant has a second electric motor attached to the rear axle, which will help with traction. While still maintaining a low fuel consumption of 4.4 litres per 100 kilometres on the combined cycle test, the Corolla Cross interior is designed to be spacious and comfortable with a wide feel, extra headroom and great visibility. And I do love the look of the dual panel panoramic sunroof and it has a blind, which is good, but I am not trying it in summer, so I cannot give feedback on the heat. The passenger seat remains manual. A little odd for the top trim these days. A seven inch multi-information display is present in the GX and the GXL, while the Atmos has a 12.3 inch full digital display. There's wired and wireless Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto. So there's a wireless charger and there's USB and USB-Cs in the back. I like the way that the front is laid out. It feels spacious for an average sized person and you actually feel like you're getting a full size screen. Again, being top trim, I get heated seats and steering wheel. Drivers sit 130 millimeters higher than the Corolla sedan and there's extra headroom for both front and rear passengers. Now something that would have been nice and Kia and Hyundai are doing it, they have the extendable sun visors because a lot of these short ones, they just don't come far back enough to like do anything for you. It's very annoying. So getting in or putting things in and taking them out is pretty easy because there's nice high openings. The openings are not that wide. That's the only thing for people with really long legs. And thankfully it's a functional back seat and it's comfortable. It's actually designed for people to sit here. Unlike some other models, um, there is uh, air vents back here and the USB chargers. Seats are actually very comfortable, I have to say. Now this middle one is okay. It's, it's also doable, but it's not very wide. Um, you have got your cup holders. There's another one in the door and yeah. The rear boot space ranges from 436 liters in the GX and GXL petrol models to 380 litres in the Atmos all-wheel drive hybrid with a 60-40 split rear seat back for extra space. It's actually a great size boot and it's quite high so you can stack things in there if you want to. This is my favourite style of boot blind which you can remove 
And there is a spare, although it's not full size. Safety wise, this car is loaded. The upgraded Toyota Safety Sense suite includes new features like lane change assist and safe exit assist. The GXL and Atmos trims come with additional safety features such as panoramic view monitor and parking support brake. Manufacturer's retail recommended pricing for the Corolla Cross starts at 33,000 for a GX petrol and a top trim Atmos hybrid all wheel drive will cost you 49,050. 2023 Corolla Cross is a fantastic choice if you're looking for a small SUV packed with amazing features features, loads of options and great value. So Toyota have finally come up with a strong offering for this subcompact category, which makes up for the somewhat disappointing CHR of recent years. I mean, it came out, it was pretty strong, but it has just fallen behind the competition recently. And that's my opinion. So they really needed this. Thanks again for watching Cartel TV. So what do you think of the new Corolla Cross? I think it's about time. Leave your comments below. We always enjoy going through them and we'll see you next time. Peace.